What's up bros and welcome. Now today I'm going to be showing five more custom LEGO Dungeons and Dragons minifigures that I've made. So let's get down to business. Now for the first custom in today's video, we have a knight. Now, the legs of this custom minifigure are from an Evil Knight minifigure from a random LEGO CMF series. Then we're gonna attach this Dragon Hunter torso piece from Ninjago Hunted, and we also have some gunmetal gray dark silver arms and some black hands attached. Then we're gonna take this black Imperium armor piece from Ninjago Dragons Rising. We're gonna attach this cape piece which matches the torso which is from a random mandalorian from the second mandalorian battle pack then we're gonna take this luke skywalker headpiece from star wars of course and pop that on and then for the last piece we're gonna attach this knight helmet piece and then we have the completed knight and for the knight's accessories or weapons, we of course have this shield and we also have this sword, so now the knight is ready for battle, but this is definitely the best custom in this entire video. I like how the black and the silver and the gunmetal gray silver and greenish tan all comes together, so yeah, that's basically it for the knight. Now for the second custom in today's video, we have the Barbarian. Now the legs of this custom minifigure are from Lord Ross from Ninjago Dragons Rising Season 1. We're gonna attach this pajama Batman torso piece from the Lego Batman movie minifigure series blind bags, except the dual molded arms are from Scarlet Witch from the Marvel Studios CMF Series 1. Then we're going to take this shoulder armor piece and pop that on. Then we're going to take this DCEU Aquaman headpiece and pop it on to the torso. And then for the last piece, we're going to attach this hobo hair facial hair piece. And then we have the completed barbarian ghost on. Now, just like for the knight, I also gave the Barbarian a sword and a shield, just like different types of swords and shields for the knight and for the Barbarian, so yeah, this Barbarian custom isn't really accurate since I think a Barbarian is usually shirtless, but I tried. That's basically it for this custom. Now for the third custom in today's video, we have the Healer. Now, the legs of this custom minifigure, I believe, are from a Monkey King minifigure, but if I'm wrong, it's definitely just from, like, a different minifigure from the Monkey Kid line. Then, we're gonna take this Storm Torso piece from Marvel, except we also have some white arms and some golden hands attached. Then, we're gonna attach this golden piece right here. We're gonna take this random headpiece and pop it onto the top and then for the last piece we're gonna attach this white moon knight hood piece and then we have the completed healer custom and for the healer's weapon i just decided to make a custom axe for her very simple i don't need to show a build tutorial or anything it just takes like three parts but this healer custom is definitely the most random custom in this entire video since the healers from dungeons and dragons all kind of have like different designs so I decided to go wacky with this one and make my own design so yeah hope you bros still enjoy it. Now for the fourth custom in today's video we have a werewolf. Now the legs of this custom minifigure are from a werewolf from Shima. Then we're gonna take this stone warrior torso piece from Ninjago Legacy except the torso is reversed and we also have some dark red arms and some dark red hands attached. Then we're going to take this hood cloth piece which is from Macaw from Monkey Kid. Then we're going to take this wolf head piece from Shima as well, pop that on him. We're going to attach the upper head piece as well. And then we have the completed werewolf ghost on. 
Now for the Warwolf's accessories, we just have this random axe that I made for him. Very simple weapon, but this is actually my second favorite custom in this entire video, right behind the Unite, because I just love how this Warwolf custom turned out. And I hope you bros liked how it turned out too, so yeah, that's basically it for this custom. Now for the fifth and the last custom in today's video, we have a ninja. Now the legs of this custom minifigure are from Cole from Ninjago Master of the Mountain. We're gonna take this Narcissa Malfoy torso piece from Harry Potter and we also have some black arms and some dark gray hands attached. Then we're gonna take this black armor piece which is from Lava Monsters from Nexo Knights. Then we're gonna take this headpiece, which I believe is from a Disney CMF series. We're gonna attach this black ninja headpiece and pop that onto the torso. Then we're gonna attach this black upper hood piece, which is from Cole from Ninjago Dragons Rising. And then we have the completed ninja custom. Now for this ninja's accessories, we have this cool little katana that I made using the Asajj Ventress lightsaber hilt piece from Star Wars The Clone Wars, and I attached this katana blade piece, and then we have this cool little katana weapon, so yeah, anyway, this is definitely the simplest custom in this entire video. I'm not even entirely sure if ninjas are in Dungeons and Dragons, I haven't really played the game since I was like five or something so that's like a decade ago so yeah that's basically it for this custom but anyway that's basically it for the second lego dungeons and dragons video that i've made in the first one i showed five dungeons and dragons customs this time i showed five more and i have five more dungeons and dragons customs that i've made that i'm going to be showing in a third video and after that i have no idea if i'll make more it depends on if these videos do well so yeah, I hope you bros enjoyed this video. Feel free to check out my other videos on most of me ghost of minifigures. Have a great day. Godspeed, bros.